this is uh, Timo Kotebold and Jens Johansson and we are playing in the band Stratovarius but that's not what we are going to talk about today. We have in our hands uh, a CD with a band called Deep Purple and uh, since we are label mates with Deep Purple, which is something I enjoy saying, we are label mates with Deep Purple. Anyway, yes. uh, we got to hear this album that they made uh, before everybody else and we are here in the Eagle offices in New York City and let's start talking about Deep Purple. Well, I can start by uh, saying that I started playing playing drums when I was 13 and that was mostly because of Ian Pace, Manny Rule. And then later on I started, I, well, I gave up playing drums and I started singing. And then I wanted to be Ian Gillan, so what does it say? I, I think I dig the band a lot. And I have to say that, in my opinion, this, this is probably their best album in 15, 20 years, yeah. since Perfect Strangers. It's very, very good. It's very good, yeah. We've heard it now two times uh, through, so I'm not exactly sure about the tracks and stuff too, but uh, what they are called, but we anyway, have listened to it a couple of times. Uh, and for me, it's, it's actually really nice to have the chance to hear it, since I'm also a huge freak. Mm -hmm. It was the only reason I started playing music in the first place, this band. And of course I was a huge fan of Gun Lord. And um, anyway, it's very good to hear that they are doing stuff. And um, what were your favorite tracks? If you, you I just liked, had the numbers, right? I liked most of the stuff pretty much. Uh, I think the first song what was it called? A simple song. That's a great yeah, title. That's... I think the song wasn't that simple, but the, I like the song a lot. But also, there's there's a couple of other very good tracks like I like a simple song and this above and beyond was probably my, my favorites uh, because for me I hear it's also the guys in the band. Uh, there's like Steve Morrison in this like uh, yeah, super players in this <laughs> above and beyond. I hear this like Dixie Dregs echoes. And of course, uh, there's Don Airy playing keyboards instead of John Lord, who died. Uh, so I hear these echoes of what Don Airy used to do in Rainbow, and of course I used to listen to Rainbow like fucking yeah. you know, religiously. I mean, we used to pray to these albums. I mean, me and Ingve, my brother, and Timo Tolki, and I guess you too, we yeah. used to worship. He probably was like the, the super main influence. It's really cool to hear. And also Dregs, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So here this, to hear Purple with Don Airy and, and Steve Morse and stuff. Great to me, anyway. And I think this uh, above and beyond, I could hear a lot of dregs, dregsy kind of chords in there. And uh, I think which one was it with this keyboard solo? I think the second one had like the third one. That's very good solos. Uh, Hell to pay, it was called. Yeah. It was like fucking amazing stuff, anyway. Yeah. And I, it seems to me that Ian's voice is in a very good shape, so. I was yeah, amazed. well, that's like the whole album. I yeah. think that's like very smooth, you know, smooth production and smooth singing. Yeah, but it's always been, been been good somehow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. 